are, finally. What's going on, everybody? I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Chara Kirk. What's up? We are watching Wonka. And now, if you're watching with us on YouTube, you are seeing a cut-down version of our reaction because we can only show a limited amount of picture-in-picture. Picture. If you want to watch the whole movie with us without any cuts or interruptions, head over to our Patreon page or become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction. You'll just need your own copy of the film so you can open it up side-by-side side with our reaction. We give you a 3-2-1 countdown sync, and it's like you're watching with two of your favorite buddies from the internet. Mm -hmm. If you're watching with us on Patreon, our membership's already thanks so much for supporting us here. If you're watching with us on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. And if you join our Patreon, you get access to a whole bunch of watch-alongs that's already up there for TV shows and movies. We are currently getting through Succession and Brother's Son. It's lots of fun. <laughs> lots of fun. Lots of fun. And uh, yes, in Indian films. So here we go. After seven years of life upon the ocean, it is time to bid the seven seas farewell. I was not expecting a musical. <laughs> Stupid. Land the horse. <laughs> I've poured everything I've gotten to my chocolate. Now it's time to show the world my recipe. Good luck, buddy. I've got 12. Wow. You know, the challenging part of this is not so much his singing, but the smiling. <laughs> He's smiling like the whole time. <laughs> There's a famous restaurant on every street here. Look at that. Had a dozen silver sovereigns, now I'm somehow down to ten. Mm. <laughs> I've got five, six, seven. Oh no, kid. Hello? No, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> leave me alone. I relate. Here's my destiny. Oh. I just need to unlock it. Will I crash and burn or go up? <laughs> and a half of dreams. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Chara. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice no transition. Addition. What? Three sovereigns? He's broke now. This is highway robbery. Oh. I feel like Mary Poppins. Oh, I was thinking of Beauty and the Beast. There we go. Be our guest. Be Time our guest. Put our service to the test. You're not planning on sleeping there, are you, son? No, it's just for a night. By this time tomorrow, you'll be frozen solid. No, don't be ridiculous. Ooh. Oh, jeez. I know someone who might be able to help you out. Oh, don't trust him. Really? Here we are, Mr. Wonka, home sweet home. Put that book down and get our guest a glass of gin. Poor man's frozen after death. Thank you, Mrs. Scrubbit. You and your husband have been so kind to me. Husband? Him? <laughs> oh, I'm looking for someone far superior to that idle peasant. Chin chin. Oh no. Now sign here, and we're all. No, no, oh, no, no, no. Tricky no, iTunes need contract. It. No, don't do it. She's gonna say, "Don't the small bread." What? Thank you, Noodle. That'll do. Wonka really is you. Who's that in? The girl. What girl? That girl, it sounded like I feel attacked. Really small print, and there does Oh my to goodness. Be a lot of it. Oh. Oh my. Well, that all seems to be in order. Really? Uh huh. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Scrubbing. No. Hello, Mr. Wonka. Come for a night, stay forever. <gasps> my name is Willy Wonka, and I have come to show you a marvelous morsel. An incredible edible, an unbeatable edible, the likes of which this world has never seen. In a jungle near Mumbai, there's a little hoverfly. And when asked nicely, lay precisely one little egg in each of these. <laughs> it beats its wings with glee, and then as you will see, the chocolate will levitate and Whoa. float most gracefully. I hope there's no sign that says no soliciting or something like that. Oh. Because they had a no daydreaming sign. Put your hand into your pocket. Get yourself some Wonka chocolate. Come now, I insist. You've never had chocolate like this. You've never had chocolate like 
this. All right, one sovereign each. Come on, everyone. Just one? Oh, well, they're little. I don't know. They fly! <laughs> yes, Mr. Slegra. Call the police. Oh, no. Very good, sir. Hurry up. Get some money. Let's try one of these so-called hover trucks. Oh, you don't have to peel it or anything? It's not just chocolate, is it? There's marshmallow. <laughs> With the bittersweet tears of a Russian clown. What? Is it? Surely not. Surely. <laughs> 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 and I can safely say that of all the chocolate I have ever this is tasted, the worst. This is without doubt the absolute 100% worst. Rude. A good chocolate should be simple, plain, uncomplicated. Where is this with all its bells and whistles? Whistles. <laughs> Just weird. <laughs> weird. It's a shame. If you thought the chocolate was weird. Oh, wait. I'm gonna hate what happens next. Uh oh. <laughs> That's the hoverfly. It's broken out of its cocoon. It's flapping its wings. Oh like my Billy god. Oh. Ah. In about 20 minutes, it'll get tired and exit through your rear. Uh -huh. It means we're gonna fault them out of our pussies. Who in their right mind wants a chocolate that makes it fly? Let's find out, shall we? Everyone, why are you giving your shit away for free, though? There we go. Thank you, please. One? Just one? Yeah, it's a little... I don't know. He's got to start somewhere, right? You know how much they charge you for indoor skydiving? These chocolates make you fly. And then you fight. <laughs> All right, folks. Yeah. Nothing Took a poop. It's a small group of people defying the laws of gravity. <laughs> is that a wicked reference? That you're disrupting the trade of other businesses. I'm regrettably obliged to move you on and to confiscate your earnings. Hey, what are you doing? Don't worry, it's going to a good cause. No. Sorry, sir. Rules is rules. Rubbish. You suck. Can you at least leave me a sovereign? Yeah, just one. I need to pay for my room. Come on. Have Here. a heart. Oh, at least he was nice enough to give me. But that's just for the today. What about the next day? I believe we said a sovereign? For the room, yes, but you have incurred a few extras to the oh. course of your residency with ourselves. Oh, God. There was that glass of gin you had on arrival, and if I remember rightly, you warmed your cockles by the fire. I did indeed, Mrs. Scrubbit. Cockle warming is extra, I think. Use the stairs to get to his room and all. Work. She could run an Airbnb. I know. 10,000 sovereigns. Are you crazy? It's all in the small print area. Right? I don't have 10,000 sovereigns. Then we have a problem, Mr. Wonka. Well, we're going to have to work it off in the wash house, ain't ya? <laughs> At a sovereign a day. 10,000 days? Damn. Seven years. Hey. Four months. And 16 days. But We each of us found ourselves in need of a cheap place to stay and neglected to read the small print. Endless regret. Sounds like my third marriage. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be some way out of here. You don't think we've tried? There are bars on the window and there's a dog on the door. If you're not here at roll call, Mrs. Scrubbit will call the police, they'll bring you right back and she'll charge you a thousand for the inconvenience. Maybe he has an extra chocolate. To make the dog fly? I don't know. He lost his hat though. Oh. The hat's got all the magic. First you pick up the apparel and you stake it in the barrel, scrub, scrub. Then you take it to the mangle and you turn the giant handle, scrub, scrub. Gosh. But when we sing this song, the day don't seem so long, scrub, scrub. <laughs> it's still long, though. <laughs> scrub, scrub. They get a free room now. <laughs> Yes, it's, it's probably awful. For labor. Yeesh. How much do you owe them? 10,000. Count yourself lucky. I owe 30. Dang. Well, lucky for you, Noodle. I have a selection of the world's finest ingredients wow. right here in my travel factory. This is elaborate. Oh. Where to begin? That's the question. Do they have a teeny tiny Oompa Loompa in there as well? Did you always want to make chocolate? No. Back when I was your age. I wanted to be a magician. <laughs> My mom was a cook. We lived on the river, just the two of us. In a perfect little world of our own. 
the way I remember it, I used to spend every waking hour trying to come up with some new trick oh, to man. impress my mom. This has to be the best chocolate in the world. I oh, don't know about that. They say the very best comes from a place called the Gallery Gourmet. It also can't be any better than yours, Mama. We should go, Emma. What is that then? To the Gallery Gourmet. Good. And start a shop. Yeah. With our name above the door and everything. And that's a wonderful dream, Lee. Is that all it is? Just a dream? No, oh, you can make it come true. Every good thing in this world started with a dream. So you hold on to yours. And when you do share chocolate with the world, oh, I'll be right there beside you. What was it, Willie? What was the secret? I never found out. How did she die? Soon after, she fell sick. And before Aww. I knew it, all I had left was her bar of chocolate. <sighs> That's why I'm here, Noodle. So I can feel the same way I did back then. Eating chocolate with her. Aww. I love the sound as well. <laughs> the crunchy. Wish she hadn't done that. You don't like it? Because now everything's going to taste like crap. I like it. It's just... What? Now which day I don't have chocolate, will be a little harder. Oh. Then how would you like to have all the chocolate you can eat every day for the rest of your life? A lifetime supply? A lifetime supply. It's getting out of here. Are you crazy? <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> and you could smuggle me out in your laundry car. But just for a few hours, mine. Don't believe it, no, it's gone. It's a nice idea, Willie. It's a great idea. But it'll never work. Of course it will. Eat your chocolate. I was about to say she got half a chocolate still on there. <laughs> All we have to do is find an aristocrat and slip out while she's distracted. Yeah, easy. Yeah, but where are we going to find an aristocrat? Pretend to be one. <laughs> you sound great, fellas. Keep it up. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I have had 150 of these since my last confession. Wow. Oh! I don't know he's in this. Did you? I don't think so. Send me down. I'll see you later. What is happening? What? Is this like some secret society of chocolate? They're all waiting. Thank you very much. Good evening, gentlemen. I brought my invoice. One chocolatier moved on for the usual fee. <laughs> Here we go, baby. Mm, it's Here's a racket. Stuff. <laughs> Big chocolate. <laughs> How would you like to earn a few more of those? Oh, I am listening. We think that Mr. Wonka might require a little more than simply moving on. That if he attempts to sell chocolate in this town again, he is liable to meet with a little accident. In which he dies. <laughs> I love him. So, what do you say, Chief? Do we have a deal? Well, listen, fellas, I'm an officer of the law. I can't just go around roughing up your competition. I'm sorry. For free. Well now, Chief. I can see that you're a man of integrity. Have you got a sweet tooth? I do. A hunger that you have to feed. Don't give me that conscience nonsense. It's simply quid pro quo. Nice. A hundred of your favorites. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I'm afraid it's no. How many? Don't look at your waistline. It's fine. Come on. Who needs to see their toes? <laughs> so, 700 boxes. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Wasn't it 100 a moment ago? Yeah. Do you think <laughs> the candies? Dandy. Oh, yeah. Well, well, we've got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. Why am I singing? <laughs> it's amazing what a tailor can conceal. Oh, with the elastic. Chocolates. Oh my god. Oh. Eighteen hundred. 
Don't tell me you hadn't noticed. What? She's madly in love with you. Mrs. Scrubbit. Look at you. Fine figure of a man. You just need to tidy yourself up a little bit. Get some new clothes. Have a bath. Yeah. Oh, so you finally managed to drag your lazy... <laughs> oh, check out the leader hose and what are you doing all the way over there? Keeping my knees warm. Well, why don't you come over here and have a glass of gin? Why don't you come over here where it's all hot? Oh, oh my lord! <laughs> Question, how does Tittles want to spend all his time chasing after Milman? And what do I have to do all day, fellow scrubbers, please? Scrub, scrub. But now, with Willy Wonka's wild and wonderful wishy-washy Wonka Walker, <laughs> Tittles gets to run, and I can have fun. Scrub, scrub. Just popping out for a bit. So, tell me all about Bavaria. Where? Where you're from? Oh, yes, it's very Bavaria. Oh. Genius. Using inventions for the good of escape. I can't believe it worked. Wait till you see how much chocolate I made last night. We saw what? this, and we're gonna be. <gasps> Where'd he go? Oh, no. What's going on, Willie? Not again. Is it invisible chocolate? They've been stolen. Who by? The little orange man. Oh. He's my nemesis. Dr. Yay High. Comes in the dead of the night, and he steals all my chocolate. You don't seriously expect me to believe this, do you? Of course I do. What other explanation is there? <laughs> That you go to sleep, mm -hmm. dream about little green man. Orange man, green hair. Yeah. And while you're dreaming, mm -hmm. stuff your face with chocolate. Stuff my... That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> if Mrs. Scrubber had spotted us, I'd be in the coop right now. Look, I'm sorry, okay? But we can make more chocolate. Only problem is I'm gonna let him know. Well, that's not a problem. Milk. A, that is stealing. Yeah. For this particular creation, I require the milk of a giraffe. What? Where are you gonna get that? <laughs> the zoo. But A, the zoo is not that way. Great. What? B, they're not gonna let you just walk in there and milk it. That, my dear noodle. So I'm very lucky that the little orange is gonna find this. Oh. Is that? It... It's gonna put him to sleep. What is it? Oh my gosh. It's called a big night out. A single chocolate that perfectly mimics a night on the town. <laughs> <laughs> the next, the white wine. <laughs> Followed by red. That's quick. That's when the singing and dancing starts. Oh my god. Do you get a hangover after two? We'll get emotional. Oh no. He might do something reckless. Oh, give it a call. What else could it do? Finally, some old pork from the back of the cupboard. And... Wow. That's a whole dangerous. night out in like a minute. <laughs> Good evening, Miss. Abigail. Whoa! Easy now. I brought acacia mints. Who? Giraffes are just crazy about my acacia mints. Love more than anything else. Except being scratched into the chin, you see? Aww. If my colleague here gives you a good scratch, do you think you could possibly spare us a pint or two of your milk? So... Have you done this before? What? In Africa. Magnificent beast. Was she wild? Wild? She was absolutely furious. You sure can't be silly, Willie. I suppose that's Trudel. Noodle? Trudel? <laughs> that doesn't work, does it? Nothing rhymes in Noodle. Where'd you get that name? Poodle. It doesn't matter. Don't stop scratching. Oh, go on. It's all I have for my real parents. See? And for Noodle. I always hoped that I'd find my parents. I'm not gonna let you rot in that wash house forever. You promise? Pinky promise. And that's the most solemn vow there is. Mm-hmm. For a moment, life doesn't seem quite so bad. That giraffe looks so good. He turns night to day. Don't get carried away. Noodle, noodle, apple strudel. Some people don't and some people doodle. Singing this song will improve your mood. 
Is it his hat? The milk? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> That's cool. Aww. I thought he said no stealing. He just stole the balloons. <laughs> it's a victimless crime. And for moments, I kind of forgot to be sad. Oh, boy. Mr. Walker, oh, word no. in private if I may. You better get out of here, Noodle. But, Willie, Don't worry about me. I've talked my way to tighter spots than this. I'll meet you back at the car. I got a message for you, pal. Whoa! Whoa. Wow. Sell chocolate in this town! Can he hear you? I have water in my ears. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That... Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Where have you been? And why do you smell a giraffe? How do you know? How do you know what giraffe smells like? I'm a chocolate maker. The plan is to sell chocolate and pay off Mrs. Scrubbit. At least that was the plan until... Oh, let me guess. You had a little run-in with the chief of police. Hmm. How do you know that? Because I was Slugworth's accountant. Oh. Slugworth, Fickle Gruber, and Prodnose have been in cahoots for years. A sort of chocolate cartel, if you will. They've been watering down their chocolate. It's like internet companies. <laughs> yeah. Deep beneath the cathedral, guarded round the clock by a corrupt cleric and 500 chocoholic monks. <laughs> <laughs> From now on, I'll be keeping the ledger in the vault. Very good, sir. Uh-oh. Oh, and Mr. Crunch? Yes? You're fired. I'm sorry, Mr. Wonka. But they've got you right where they want you. You can't get a shop without selling chocolate. Mm, nope, you don't need a shop to sell chocolate. I don't know how we're going to sell any chocolate. Every time the police show up, you'd have to vanish in the thin air. Like a magician. Mm-hmm. But it's one thing when you're on stage. You have ropes and pulleys and trap doors. There's none of those on the street. As a matter of fact, there are. Oh, hello. They're called storm drains. I'd be happy to show you around if you cut me in on the action. If you're recruiting, I'd do anything to get out of here and make up with my wife. I don't have any practical skills, but I can talk like I'm underwater. <laughs> and did she oh, do. I'm your woman. What? You speak now. But if Mrs. Scrubbit catches you trying to escape, you'll all get six months in the coop. So just think about that before getting involved in this brain scheme. Come on. Woolly's chocolates are incredible. Try one. That's very kind of what you. What a know. risk. I don't care how good his chocolates are. Tossing it across the way. Yeah. <laughs> when do we start? <laughs> <laughs> Not even two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> she barely had time to, like, chew it. Do you have anything for a broken heart? So the taxis never stop. The girls think you're a flop. You're wet and cold, you're getting old, your confidence is shot. When people look at you, they seem to look straight through. Or like you're something brown they found upon the bottom of their shoe. Have you been following me? <laughs> My giraffe milk macaroon. Ooh. Just take a chance and you'll be dancing to a different tune. Uh-oh. <laughs> Please tell me there's some chocolate in the house. <laughs> I know, I really <laughs> want to eat chocolate right now. Good day. <laughs> I hope money exchanged hands. Good. Good. Have you tried his new one? No. Oh, you got to have a go. Just pop one in and everything. <laughs> it just happens to, to be there. <laughs> <laughs> the news that makes you gasp, the jokes that make you laugh. All that you say and do all day will be choreographed. <laughs> Nice. This guy's like Ethan Hunt. Have you ever had chocolate like this? I've never had chocolate like this. <laughs> the music in this movie is fantastic. Yeah. You've never had chocolate like this. No, we've never had chocolate like this. <laughs> <laughs> <It's our dancing. laughs> Wow. 
Wow. Oh no. What? His like little neck. Look how fatty. Got... God. Oh my god. <laughs> god. I can't even. Uh oh, it's the Oompa Loompa song. Ooh. Tell me it's a trap. <laughs> <gasps> yep. Called it. Gotcha. Let me out of here. I demand to be released. Let me out of here. You have absolutely no right to go around and bottling innocent strangers. Innocent? Hold on. You've been stealing from me for years. Well, you've started it. Me? Allow me to refresh your memory in the form of a song so ruinously catchy that it may never leave your mind. <laughs> oh, I don't think I want to hear that. Today, <laughs> I've started dancing now. <laughs> I've started, we can't stop it. <laughs> bumpa, lumpa, dumpa, dee, dee. If you are wise, you'll listen to me. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. This... Wouldn't that just choke him? It's in the bottle. <laughs> you came along and pinched the lot. Hey, why didn't you say something? Well, perhaps I drifted off. Bumpa, lumpa, dee, dee. When I awoke, they sent me away Till I've paid my friends back A thousand fold A thousand fold Wow. How much has Incredible. he amassed so far? Four beans, then I'm sure we can come to some sort of understanding, but I can't give you my entire supply. I tell you what. You let me out of here and we can discuss it. Like a gentleman. Hmm? All right. No. Ah, thank you. Now, would you be so very kind as to pass me that um, miniature frying pan? Right. Is he gonna hit him with it? Yeah. There we are. <laughs> what? Ow! <laughs> 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 what a rascal. Good day, sir. That's my last jar! I said good day. Dang, he's like Oompa Loompa Batman. <laughs> so, where is he? Ah, well, we had a fight, you see? He won. Hit me on the head with a frying pan and jumped out of the window. <sighs> Wonka's so gullible. You don't believe me, do you? Honestly, no. But, as it so happens, we don't need to sell chocolate today. Why is that? You know that shop, the one you've been dreaming of? <gasps> what? Wow. We made rent? I thought they were going to use that money to, like... But they can scale up this is gonna be the best chocolate shop the world has ever seen Woo! you won't be scrubbing driving much longer noodle <laughs> we'll all be free as free as flamingos <laughs> hey just have to learn to fly i'm happy to do whatever you guys want but it's gonna cost you a lot more chocolate and also i'd uh, be grateful for an advance because the uh, last boxes you gave me they're gone 1800 <gasps> there you go chief plenty <laughs> more where that came from like drugs they really are they really are drugs yeah it's the, it's the chocolate cartel the girl you don't really think it could be her do you no oh, who you uh. always assured us she wouldn't be a problem he's right you did assure us then she won't be assured us i'll see to it oh Passing her parents were important He's been sneaking out to sell chocolate with the help of your serving girl. Little brat. Well, quite. I wondered if you might help me put an end to their business. This over-enunciation is so fun. Ladies and gentlemen, greetings to you all and welcome to Wonka's. Tremendous things are in store. What? In there? Humor me. Welcome to my cave of wonders. Close your eyes and count to ten. Make a wish now. Oh. Open them. Oh. A world of your own. Ah. Uh. A place to escape to. That's elaborate. Here is the child that you left behind. Here is the kid. Are they paying for all this? Mind. Where's the money? Where's the wonder we used to feel? Back when the magic was real, embracing <laughs> the unknown. Enjoy the adventure. 
adventure. It's a smaller version of his chocolate factory. This is our home. How much money did he save up? <laughs> this is crazy. It's magic. Who's next? Aww. His hair. What? Uh, Mr. Wonka? Yes? What's going on? What's going on here? Oh my goodness. That's impossible. Unless... Oh no. What is it? Uh-oh. Yeti sweat? The most powerful hair potion in the oh. world. I didn't put it in there. Who? Oh no. It appears that the chocolates have been poisoned. I want revenge. Well, that was what the, that was the moment we yeah. needed. It was going too oh, well. Oh yeah, it was going so well. This is what you get from mustaching my daughter. Dang! Jeez. That was evil. That I believe is the end of Honko's chocolate shop. Did they do it? Kirk. How would they know? What did it? Kirk. What? Come on. No. You think he legitimately made a mistake? No, he didn't make a mistake. But, like, how would they know to use Yeti sweat? They're chocolate makers. But they don't make chocolate like this. They did it. What if it was the Oompa Loompa? No, it was them. What happened? Isn't it obvious? They're a chocolate cartel. <laughs> come on, Kirk. Keep up. <laughs> We've come to offer you a deal. This is the precise amount you owe Mrs. Scrubbit. This is for the number cruncher. This What's the catch? Yeah. You can't make chocolate in this girl. town. You could change her life. Change all their lives. Not what I have to do. Leave town. Oh, and um, never return. Never make chocolate again. No can do. Ah, Mr. Wonka. Your ticket at one way to the North Pole. Wow. Premium economy. <gasps> Basically economy. I mean, yeah, you get a little more leg room, a complimentary packet of peanuts. Is it worth the extra? <laughs> I think it is. Mr. Wonka. Oh, no. What's all that mean? Is it going to yeah. kill him? Is this where the movie ends? Is this a dark ending? No. Premium economy. Jeez. Well, that's certainly more leg room. I'm not in premium economy. <laughs> <laughs> Look, where Slugworth shook my hand. It's an A. His name is Arthur Slugworth. It's probably a family ring. Yes, but Noodle has one just like it. Oh, what? Did you put that together? They talked about her. her the... Yeah. I didn't even put that to... There's no time. I gotta get back. Captain! I mean, I don't know who her family is, but she's clearly someone important and they want to keep her under wraps. Oh my god, it's dynamite. The explanation can wait. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready. An Oompa Loompa is always ready. Oh crap. Miss Bonbon? Yes, Mr. Slugworth. Give the chief his chocolate. Goodness. Biggest part of the lot. But this isn't to pay your bill. It's this to keep, is you, to here. keep you here. Oh, gross. I hate hey. you! You don't still think he's a lord, do you? We made it up, you stupid old hag! Well, she's, she's lying! Uh oh. You're going in the coop, Margell! And you! Take them dungarees off, you, you peasant! The coffee waffle! I love you! Oh! How, all the grown-ups just left her behind? They were so eager to get out? Is it the giraffe? Oh. Hello, Noodle. <gasps> Wally. Why would the giraffe be there? Well, he could be riding a giraffe. All I know for certain is that you won't be safe until Slugworth is behind bars. You said the cartel keep a record of all their dirty deeds. In the green ledger. So if we can get hold of that, we can prove that they poison our chocolate. The greedy beat the needy, Willie. I guess that's why there's one other thing to do. And what's that? Change the world. All right. Excuse me, sir. Could you spare a piece of chocolate for a starving orphan? No. <laughs> I don't have any on me. Oh. Oh, what a dick. Yes. Giraffe. I guess you're right. 
Now, as you all know, it's Baron von Schmeichel Hammer's funeral today, so I don't want to see anyone eating chocolate. We all know that one day we should be judged for our sins, but it's not going to be today. <laughs> That's so corrupt. You're gonna get it now. <laughs> Judged for your sins, you bastard. Get him! Run! Everybody out! Save yourself! Judgment has come! In a most unexpected form! God is punishing you with a giraffe. You know what you've done to this? You've sold your soul for 30 pieces of chocolate. That's a cool shot. That was great. Hello, Zoo! <laughs> Quiet down, you animals! <laughs> <laughs> Finally came in handy. Yeah, I think we did lose a giraffe. Okay, geez, I'll send the guys around. <laughs> She's still here. <laughs> oh, forgive me! I'm a sinner! A weak and wicked chocoholic! Yep, everyone heard that. Ah, oh, the cavalry. Are you the cleric who called about a giraffe? What are they gonna do? We gotta get down on the ground. Thanks for all your hard work, Father Julius and the chocolate cartel. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Everyone always just eats it right away. I would save it. Those days in chemistry class were the happiest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly disappointed we're not getting a fight soon. There's still time. I guess that's true when they get out, right? Yeah. The town square was closed this morning after a bizarre incident at the city cathedral, delaying the funeral of noted philanthropist Baron von Schmeichelhammer. He bears a striking resemblance to, um... I can't remember his name right now, but the actor who played Gollum. Everything all right then? Oh, oh yes, Mrs. Logan. Andy Circus. Andy Circus. At least it is now. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Oh, we had a giraffe in here earlier. Had to clear the whole place for about twenty minutes, but everything's back to normal. The advocate said that it was here. Abacus has been in the wash house for the past four years. Maybe all the scrubbing has gone to his head. Because all that's down here is just a bunch of stupid old chocolate. Ah. Oh. This music's making me anxious. <laughs> we did it now. Uh oh. Oh no. Mr. Slugworth has one just like it. Don't you, Mr. Slugworth? As a matter of fact, I do. That belonged to my brother. Oh crap. Fell in love with a common little bookworm, died before they could marry, leaving me sole heir to the family fortune. But nine months later, your mother turned up on my doorstep, begging me to get a doctor for her sick little newborn. I said I would help. Instead, you put me down a laundry chute. Bye bye, baby. What a f twisted evil man. You saw the Yeah. Word. Thought it was an N and called me Noodle, but it wasn't. It was Z. Oh. oh. When your mother returned, I told her you had died. She was heartbroken, of course, but uh, I gave her a handful of sovereigns and had her escorted from my property. What was her name? Where is she now? Dorothy Smith. It says so right here. Dorothy? Well, what do you know? I guess you did teach me to read after all. Oh, that's right. We'll take that. Thank you. How much chocolate do you have to factory, Mr. Fickle Goober? For what? To drown them? Death by chocolate. Why would you do that? What a That's waste. Your supply. I know. I'm gonna contaminate it. The Oompa Loompa's gonna come and save them. Mr. Wonka, what would you like us to do? I was wondering if you could give this to someone. Only if you happen to see him. And who is it? A little orange. Hey, you're right. <clears throat> About eight inches high, with orange skin and bright green hair. I own a jar of chocolates, you see. Well, I think these might be the best I ever made. Ooh. Okay, so I'll make sure he gets them personally. 
That was an interesting cut. Farewell, Mr. Wonka. Urchin. What are they? It was a bit of a close shave this morning, and I was wondering if perhaps we could rethink our arrangement or... Oh, that's the flying one, isn't it? No, the flying one looks different. It opens up. Red Wonka might be as what? They as all cake, of it? You how to make chocolate. They are you. But do you think we should have saved some for the hey, little orange man? I resent Tell that. Me your <laughs> I don't know, not see it that well. Deep breath now. <gasps> no. You mustn't let yourself get so worked up. It's just a bit of chocolate. Correction. It was actually my chocolate. <laughs> We've been saved! By who? I don't know. It's poor the girl. little orange man! Look! What? The little orange man! <laughs> Oh my, oh my god. Joe! Thank goodness you're okay. I can't <laughs> God damn! Officer, would you kindly take a look at this? Wonka! It details every single illegal payment these men have ever made. Thousands of them. Hey, affable, don't listen to her. She's lying. Nope. Gentlemen, you're under arrest. Moran! Put handcuffs on you. That's okay, Nick. Alright, one second. <gasps> It was a funny oh. child, right? so I told you. Ah, <laughs> uh, but they looked different. We'll get the best lawyers. Bribe the judge, rig the jury if we have to. We'll be fine. I wish I had thought of that. Hey, Noodle! Oh my god. No, oh, the plumber. Oh my god, literally a chocolate fountain. Oh, it's a golden ticket. Good as you remember? Every little bit. I wish it could last forever. Do you know how many people in this city are named D. Smith? Oh 106. My. And luckily, you have a friend who works at the telephone exchange. Oh my god. She spent the entire afternoon ringing around. Oh no. You found my mom? She works in the library. Oh, what a surprise. I she lives. <laughs> Come on, Noodle. That's crazy. Thankfully, it's... She's a... obsessed with books and yeah. reading. That's, it's weird how that happens in real life, too. That kind of thing. If you want to view paradise Simply look at them and view it I'm not going anywhere, Willy Wonka. Not until you've paid your debt. Now, I know you tried. Lumpa Law is very clear on this subject. Until such time as the chocolate is physically in my hat. <laughs> I'm gonna share my chocolate with the world. I'm gonna need more than a shop. Well, I'm sure you will. I'm gonna need a factory. <laughs> Good luck with that. And <laughs> the tasting department. The tasting department. Come with me. All right. And you'll be well. in a world of pure imagination. It's a ruined castle. Daydreamers, welcome. He looks like the villain from Shrek. <laughs> oh, Lord Farquaad? Yeah. With a spin, traveling in the world of my creation. Wow. There is no life I know to compare with your imagination. You'll be free if you truly <gasps> Oh, magical. Mm. 
Oh. What? Is it the Wonka song again? <laughs> it's a Oompa Loompa. Oompa Loompa Doompa I've got a little bonus for you. Okay. Abacus Crunch returned to his home. Ends to her friends, Lottie Bell to her phone. Brave Larry made a triumphant comeback. One day his ex-wife saw the act. Laughed a lot and took him back. <laughs> <laughs> Nose job. Of a far, <laughs> big old ass in the country, lingerie. It's a car show. They've gone down. Uh oh. Quick, to the evidence. Oh my gosh. Oh, just a second after that. Oh my god, they're gonna be like super hairy. Well. How can we help you, officer? You two are coming with me. What was their plan? They just tried to get rid of the evidence by eating it, oh. by drinking it. Okay. That was a nearly perfect movie. So cute. That was like, it was so, so good. My face hurts from just smiling yeah. throughout. It's so delightful. Yeah, I really liked it a lot. I have three complaints in total. I didn't care about the comedian. Oh yeah. Some of his, his friend characters weren't really, yeah. you know. Yeah, I guess that's a general, no, but like I liked the old white guy with the who looks like the pops from American Pie. Oh, the accountant. Yeah, the accountant. I thought Abacus he was cool. I liked him. I didn't like the mom at the very end, like her acting when she reunites with her mom. I don't know if that was by design, but I wanted to feel like I wanted to cry. Yeah, me too. And, but... I, and I was like, nah, it's cool. And then the CGI on um, Hugh Grant was all right. This is okay. But Hugh Grant was amazing. Hugh Grant's charming. He, like, yeah. he's, he's Hugh Grant. He's just so good at what he does. Those things aside, it was just a beautiful movie. And you don't get films like this very often. I would love to see this as a, like a musical. I, obviously, I mean, it is a musical movie, but like, it just feels like something you would go to the theater to well, watch. You got Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and that movie still stands the test of time. A lot of these films stand the test of time because they were made in a particular way that just feels kind of somehow immortal. This film did such a great job that at 20 years from now, you can still watch this film. Just the style of it all. It feels very classic and timeless. Yeah, very much so. It's like, you know, with those beautiful set pieces and like the songs and the dancing and just how whimsical it is. Yeah. And it's really fun as well. Like I was surprised that it was like a full on musical. Obviously I'm like, okay, yeah, that totally makes sense. I didn't realize that there would be so many songs. I'm not a musical person and I like the songs in this film. Yeah, yeah. they were so much fun and yeah. I particularly loved how they brought back some of the songs from the movie with Gene Wilder. The Oompa Loompa theme, Pure Imagination. And Scrub Scrub was fun. It was just so nice, just kind of all the, the nods to the things that we love, but then also it being its own original thing and seeing his mother's gift to him the golden ticket was mm -hmm. such a cool callback because like that's the whole thing in right, right, charlie right. and the chocolate factory right and so it yeah it was just so magical and whimsical and sweet she was also well ahead of her time because she understood the power of preservatives I know. I was like, dude, how long has it been and you're eating this chocolate and it's yeah. still good? Like, I, I mean, you're watching a movie where chocolate is a currency. And so not that it's not in real life, but <laughs> you're watching a film where chocolate is literally a currency. So I, I think you can buy into the possibility that the chocolate in his pocket lasted 20 years or whatever. Sure. Yeah. I mean, there, there were so many things happening in this movie that just defy logic. And so... Why not that chocolate never goes bad? The acting on Timothy Chalamet was remarkable. I thought he was so, so good. I'm just like, dude, like, how are you this talented? This is crazy <laughs> talent. Like, I only learned who you were like a few years ago. So much talent, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and it's, it's also refreshing to see him in this kind of role for me because like, I haven't watched him too many times. And as soon as I think of him, I just think of Dune. Like, right, well, because right now that's the thing he's most known for. I think of Dune and I think Call Me By M Your Name. Yeah, he's also in Interstellar. Yeah. That was like one of his earlier roles. What? Yeah, he, he was the kid in Interstellar. Oh. The brother, the younger version of Casey Affleck. He has a whole thing about it. You know, he was so excited to see himself in the film. And during the recording he made, it was mostly just his voice while, what's his name, crying? Oh, Matthew, Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey was just yeah. crying. And it was just like, ah, this is my big break. Why am I not even in the movie here? <laughs> I this feel is his my pain. voice. I just thought he did such a, a fantastic job with the whole package of 
being this person, being that charming, being fun, singing. I don't know if that's his actual voice. It sounds like it was probably his voice. Like I, he was doing so much. I can't tell the difference between like amazing singing and decent singing. Like, cause I'm not audibly equipped like that, but I thought he did a great job. Yeah, I know? mean, I would say as far as I mean, this is coming from my opinion, right? And and I'm not a, a hardcore musical person, but I thought his singing was decent. Like I would categorize him as um, an actor who can sing. And dance. Yeah, like, dance. Like all the and, movement like, was great. The movement was great. The choreography yeah. was really fun. A lot of the stuff at least that he was doing wasn't anything like too crazy. You know, it's not like he was doing aerials and stuff. Like they had proper dancers and stuff doing right, the, the but, more elaborate stuff. But yes, he was giving it all. I liked it. I liked this giraffe scene when he was dancing with his coat and stuff like that. I thought that was cute. Yeah, you know? that was really cute. Like it was it was just like really well thought out. It makes you feel just so magical. And like like, I love the stuff that they had in the chocolate shop. It was so cool that the first guy he brings in is this old guy. I think it really speaks to how through this movie and like also the, the character of the old guy, it's like you're finding your inner child. Just being a kid again and, and enjoying all of those things that as an adult, you know, we kind of forget that, you know, you can actually still have fun and still be in awe of magic. It's amazing how a movie about chocolate is not saccharine. It doesn't go too far. It's just a wholesome film. And it's got a lot going on with all these different characters. I feel like the acting isn't perfect across the board. No. But he did such a great job. Keegan-Michael Key also did a great job. I forgot he's in this movie. <laughs> Rowan Atkinson. Yeah. Also, like, small role, but I liked him as well. And I think um, that was, um, I think that was Matt Lucas as well from, from Little Britain. The bad guy that made you laugh a lot, the bold one. I thought the trio of them were great. They like, were they fantastic. Were, they were well casted. It's an interesting fine line because you could easily go, you know, just a step too far and now you're overacting. It's in that perfect Goldilocks zone where it's like a character it's not real but it's not too far it's like just right kind of like a, a stage performance yeah but dial back a little bit so it's just enough just enough for film because, yeah because if you do full-on stagey yeah it's gonna feel like that but this felt like it was just pitch perfect for it being like a oh. musical but in in a film. The lady who played the hotel owner. Olivia um, Coleman. She was awesome. She's always yeah, awesome. Yeah, no, I when I, I love her. When I watched her in the show that shall not be named, mainly because I can't remember it. The invasion. Secret something. invasion. Secret invasion, thank you. Yeah. She was my favorite part of that show. The right? favorite? The f I loved her in that. Every time I've seen her, she's very she's strong. So amazing. Yeah. She must have had a lot of fun in this role because she had a whole thing. You know what I'm she saying? She fully commits yeah. to every single character that but, she does. You know, even though you hate her character and, and her male counterpart, there's still something like fun and charming about them. Yeah. You know? And that's very Roald Dahl as well. Even though characters are kind of really awful, there's still something about them that makes them entertaining. Like Mrs. Trunchbull. Terrible. Terrible. She's so bad and you just root for Matilda. I'm not familiar with this director, Paul King. Space Force oh, I've seen. Oh, Little Britain. And The Mighty Boosh. I love that show. Okay. I think it takes a very visionary director to like see this thing through. It's like such a finely crafted film. I was looking for flaws and I couldn't find any. Because I'm watching how it's all put together. It felt like he had a really clear roadmap. Yeah. You know what I mean? From every shot, every edit, every move, everything was so thoughtful in a way that you don't see very often. I feel like this movie was kind of written off early on. Like, we didn't ask for this, like Toy Story 4. Right. You know, but like, you get there and it's like, this is like one of those things that to me is just undeniable. If you don't like this movie, something's wrong with you. Like, this is just a great film. Well, there are you some know, people that don't like I don't this understand movie. why. Like, yeah. I don't understand what you could not like about it. Like, what are you expecting? If you don't like this, what's, what are you expecting exactly? You're dead inside. I guess for some people, what you deem as saccharine is just in the eye of the beholder. Sure, But for, yeah. for me, as someone who is very averse to things that are too saccharine, I found it quite enjoyable. I'm you honestly know. surprised. I did want to watch this with you. I wanted to share it with you. For me, this is something that I was very excited about because growing up, I like wasn't. I said, like, um, <laughs> Roald Dahl 
was one of my favorite authors yeah. and it's just such a massive part of my childhood because I loved the worlds that he conjured up and these mm -hmm. amazing characters and the stories that were just centered around children and you just always felt like something crazy but cool and just whimsical and magical could happen at any time like mm -hmm. all your dreams could come true and he was such a talented writer for children i just feel like this movie encapsulated all of those things really well and all of the things that are willy wonka's character that you know we've come to know and love in later iterations of like charlie and the chocolate factory when he's like a grown up and everything you see the start of all of that yes. here which is great i was waiting for the other shoe to drop or i thought you were gonna say something negative about no not at okay. all i'm like i i enjoyed this and i kind of wish that like Warner Brothers would make Wonka land. They, I think they are going to. I, I want to go there. When I was watching the stuff in the shop, I was like, how do you, you can't do this in real life and it'd be satisfying to anybody. Like, oh, you're yeah. not going to be able to eat anything. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I want to eat the flowers. I want to like put a cup in the chocolate river and just like drink chocolate and hopefully like not fall in it and... <laughs> have some disastrous things happen to me, like in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. The part where the hero loses it all moment, you know, like the Sid Field structure of screenplay writing, uh -huh. I could see that coming from a mile away. It's like that kind of has to happen in the movie. Like it can't just be on this, you know, cheery ascend the entire time. Yeah, I mean, I think the beats were definitely predictable, right? Yeah. Like, you know what's gonna happen. You know, like, oh, okay, except I wasn't fully aware that it was the bad guys who were putting the, the, the sabotaging the chocolate. The, yeah. the chocolate. I was like, oh my God, I'm shocked. But like, obviously all of these things had to happen. And so there's no big surprises, but I think the world is so fun yeah, yeah. and the characters are so much fun that we're like just along for the ride. So I, the one thing I, I feel like could inform or incentivize people to have like a negative perception of the film is just the corporate autocracy of everything. You know how it's like it's based on a, this pre-existing thing that was already popular. And so companies are always trying to find the IP that they can milk sure, for yeah. more money. Yeah. However, that said, while there are movies out there that are spinoffs from an already existing successful IP, a lot of those end up just feeling like a cash grab. And it's like at the end of the day, everything's a cash grab, right? If you think about it, everything is about making money. It's that, does it sweep you off your feet, so to speak? Does it whisk you into another place so that it feels magical and feels like it was crafted? Does it feel artistic? While I recognize everything's about making money, either something feels artistic or it doesn't. Either something feels nice or it doesn't. You know, you have something like Morbius and it's like, ugh, you know what yeah. I mean? Versus, yeah. versus this, it's like, this feels like it was beautifully done. A lot of thought and care and love was put into this because Paul King also wrote this directed this and so he's one of the writers but yes yeah it was his vision that right. was really coming to life right as to how he wanted to portray this character and this world because like it feels like it's maybe a little bit familiar but then also just like completely wild yeah you know like certain places and stuff i was like oh yeah that kind of looks like you know, Covent Garden maybe, or like somewhere in, in London, but this looks completely fantastical. Yeah. The Disney live actions, I think is a better example than Morbius, but like Morbius is like from the Spider-Man universe, -ish, yeah. right? The Disney live action films, they're literally just trying to like borrow from this pre-existing IP and make more money off of it. Right. But they're not really taking it anywhere interesting. Exactly, they're not doing anything original in a way that is compelling. Is really meaningful. Yeah. I mean, I guess they tried to with things like Maleficent, or with a uh, Cruella, you know, because it's not just repeating the same story, but in live action. Whereas this is like, you know, Roald Dahl is dead. I'm imagining didn't write this story, but it is based on his characters. But somehow it feels like this would make sense. This feels in line with what he might write. And that's hard to do. Yeah. I very much appreciate this film. They saw like the rating here in IMDb has like a seven out of 10 or something. That's pretty high for a IMDb, to be fair. Well, I saw a film the other day that had an eight point something out of 10 that I did not like as much. So I liked it quite a bit. And it was really I, fun. I hope you guys, well, if you guys are watching this, obviously you liked it too. Unless they're just expecting me to be like munching self. <laughs> I know, yeah. it's surprising, isn't it? When Jabby actually really <laughs> enjoys something. I just thought it was so magical. You know what it is? It's also that thing where I feel like 
kids don't get movies like we used to get movies when we were kids, like The Sandlot, The Mighty Ducks, and all that stuff. Like we used to get films that were like for us, the PG range. You right, know what I mean? Yeah. And, and they were awesome. Angels in the Outfield. You know, like there's all these films that were made for for when I was like 10 years old. It's so cool when you see something like this on this scale that's made for that demographic again. I think it's really cool. You know, and it's not based on a book. <laughs> it I is mean, based, kind of, but not really. Yeah, it, it's based on it is based on an IP, but it, it still is like original in its own way. You know? Yeah. And I think that's what was really drawing me to it as well because it's like yeah i'm familiar with the book i'm familiar with the character or, or rather the books because there's also um charlie in the uh great glass elevator which is like the sequel it's fun to kind of see a prequel that makes sense yeah the note that i want to end this on to circle back to that corporatocracy thing right yeah it's like, is it lazy or not? Is it a lazy piece of storytelling or not? Is it thoughtful or is it lazy? And this is definitely, in my opinion, thoughtful. Um, yeah, thoughtful so, and made with a lot of love, I yeah, feel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, cool. <laughs> you guys, thanks so much. I'm Jabby Koi. This is... Achara Cook. Peace out.